Today we are going to save over $400 on a remote control for our boat's autopilot. Another remote control? You really like remote controls, huh? Well, yes, the truth is yes, eh? I must be very lazy or something, but this time I have an invention with some possibilities. Anyway, I'm hot. You're in short sleeves and I'm here in a full jacket. Can't I take my jacket off? It's May, eh? We don't go back to winter outfits again until September, October. Come on, let's go. <laughs> but you have to click your fingers, click, click. And also this way, this way I can show the goods. The goods, I mean the t-shirts and those things that we are going to start selling very soon in the channel. Well, and today's invention, I have the goods. All the goods on the counter. Yes. Greetings sailors and welcome to a new episode of The Low Cost Sailor. Today we're going to look at how to very easily build something I was really really looking forward to. A remote control for the autopilot on our boats. I'll even go further, a remote control for the autopilot remote control of our boats. Well, although that's best you see at the end of the episode. I mean this is going to be yet another, another remote, remote control. control. Today we will see how simple and inexpensive it can be to build a remote control that talks to virtually any Raymarine autopilot that supports the SeaTalk 1 protocol by spending about $50. It is also probably one of the most common and reliable generations of autopilots on our boats. I am talking in general about the ST1000, ST2000, ST4000, ST6000 family. Basically all autopilots with Raymarine SeaTalk 1. Even the more modern ones via a SeaTalk 1 to SeaTalk NG adapter. I would venture to say that our remote control is going to be even better than the Raymarine one. Since we will see how easy it can be to manage it with the cell phone or connect it to our PC or Raspberry Pi and be able to use it with no dread. A world of possibilities will open before us. Your eyes will open wide with amazement. I have already told you that I have been wishing for years to have a remote control for my boat's autopilot. With all the information and camera infrastructure I already have, I can keep an eye on everything going on outside. And with this, I can perform certain tasks with peace of mind while sailing. Whether it's cooking, keeping watch from the inside, or using la toilette as Carlos likes to call it. And all that while sailing alone. But of course, if I see something extrange, I have to rush outside to change course. I need to be able to control the autopilot from anywhere. And for that I need a remote control, which has a lot of other advantages, such as being able to correct the course when I'm raising the sails alone or lowering them or doing this kind of operations without having to go back to the wheel. But 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 a very big barrier stood between me and my beloved pilot remote control. $500. I had been looking for a cheap alternative for a long time and seeing that I had built a remote control for the anchor windlass, our first episode, and above all I had built a man overboard system that stopped the boat's engine with a few relays and a remote control like the windlass, I thought it could not be very difficult to make something similar for the autopilot. And actually, there is a very simple solution that would work on basically any autopilot of any brand that consists of opening the autopilot control screen and soldering some wires in parallel to each of the buttons. This way, all that you take it to a relay box, like the one we used in our episode of automating the switch panel, we could connect each button to one of the relays and this control it by means of the remote control. I tell you that with about $15, we can do it. But although it is certainly the cheapest option, it is somewhat cumbersome because because you have to manipulate the pilot, it would lose its ceiling, open holes, pass the wires, etc. I've never dared to do it. Well, it is an ingenious option that works for sure and cheap as they come, although there is another option that I like better. We have already seen on several occasions that there is a series of communication protocols that allow connecting marine electronics with each other. You may be familiar with the names NMEA 0183, NMEA 2000, SeaTalk, SeaTalk NG. These protocols are designed so that, among other things, the autopilot can receive information such as speed, course, wind direction, and so it can work in the most effective way or do things like maintain a course with respect to the wind direction, but they are also designed so that other devices such as a plotter, repeater screens, remote controls, 
can send commands to the pilot to go to a waypoint, maintain or correct the course, etc. In this way, for example, is how the Raymarine S100 remote control works, which through SeaTalk can control your autopilots. The problem is it costs $500. Yes, 500 bucks. Therefore, the idea is to build ourselves a very similar remote that speaks this same protocol and allows us to control the autopilot. All these protocols should be public standards so that electronics from different manufacturers can talk to each other. But you know how they like, in the nautical world, the concealment that ensures that customers only buy from their brand. Therefore, although there are standards such as NMEA 0183 or NMEA 2000 that meet these premises, Raymarine has always preferred to make its own connectors and protocols such as CTALK or CTALK NG, which are fine, but they are proprietary. The CTALK one is the protocol spoken by the older generation of Raymarine, the STXX like my autopilot, wind gear, etc. Or even their most current range, but the cheapest range, the IXX, the I40, I60, etc. This is a proprietary protocol that Raymarine has kept secret so that only it could build compatible devices, keep the customer captive to its brand and make more money. But there are always restless sailors like us and people with great knowledge of electronics who have dedicated themselves to reverse engineer the protocol and figure out how it works. Like, for example, Thomas Kanaus, who deciphered and made public the somewhat convoluted workings of the CTOC protocol. We won't go into details, but thanks to his projects like the one that has allowed us to connect our CTOC equipment with the Raspberry with a very tiny octocoupler or even better what we are going to do today, build a wireless remote control for the pilot with some electronic components and a bit of software that other restless navigators have designed. I have done my bit, but almost nothing. This has been done by other people. What we are going to build is not very complex, although it requires a few electronic components and a bit of skill. It can be assembled either on a prototype brick or on a PCB already designed for it and is based on a free project by Andreas Koritznik, another sailor and handy German with an unpronounceable name. Although I have made some modifications to the software, which is the part I have mastered so that it can be more useful in future plans. I have many plans, you know me. One, in the project website and in the post of our website, you have all the elements you need with links to purchase all the components and wiring diagrams and even to make a PCB where to solder all the pieces. Uh, what is a PCB? You just say PCB, PCB. PCB, the PCB, can I get up? Yes, of course. A PCB is this, the board where the components are placed in the electronics? Uh, and that's what my wife says looks like a city, the map as well as a city. Yes, what looks like the map of a city is the PCB. When you put all the components on the map, it's the PCA. When it looks like a city in 3D instead of 2D, this is the PCB that we need. Well, the heart of all the components is a programmable Arduino Pro micro board in which we will put a special software. We will talk more about it. But this is a kind of Raspberry Pi, much less powerful, but much smaller and very cheap. Four dollars or so. The controller we're going to use is going to be a universal 433 megahertz garage style wireless controller. In my case, I've chosen a six button one. Here we have one. And this is the custom one from the Loco Sailor, the one you can have later on. For this controller to be able to talk to the Arduino, we will need a suitable radio frequency receiver module. Additionally, a regulator that allows us to feed our Arduino that works at 5 volts from the 12 volts of our battery, and also a few resistors and electronic components to adapt the voltages of the communications port of the Arduino 5 volts to the 12 volts used by the SATOC protocol for communications. In total, buying everything with my AliExpress links and making the PCB board at azels.com, it will cost us about $40 in components, more or less. After, it would be a matter of soldering and loading a little program on our board. Although this time, we will see there is another, even simpler option. Once we have all the components, and especially having the PCB, it will be very easy to make the assembly. It will only be a matter of investing some time in soldering. Watch out the orientation of all the components according to the silk screen. And if you have doubts in GitHub, you have the schematic with how are the connections. But without giving it too much thought, it is basically a matter of soldering each component in its place. Easy. In fact, as many of the components such as resistors and similar are sold by tens or hundreds of units and making a single PCB is not very profitable, I have decided to make a few and I have started with 10 units that I will sell to release it in the new The Low Cost Sailor store. But as I know that 10 units may be a little short and if I see that you are interested, I will make more units.
You can buy them as a kit with all the parts to assemble by yourself if you want to solder or already assembled and customized with the logos of the low-cost sailor as the controller I just showed you. To start the kit will cost $39.95 and assembled and programmed with all the software ready to click on our autopilot $69.95. The idea of these type of prices that aren't round numbers is Carlos's so you can blame him. He, he says that we have to have prices like the ones in Teleshop. Well we intend to start selling some of our inventions already assembled and ready to use along with some other products like the channel t-shirts and other cool accessories so stay tuned we will inform you and everything will be available on our website www.thelowcostsailor.com and I told you that we will sell them assembled and programmed because after assembling and soldering it you have to program it with the right software. This part is a bit more cumbersome but relatively simple following our instructions. Here it is necessary to go a little to the detail because otherwise things do not work very well. The first thing is to install the Arduino IDE version. We will leave the link in the post on our website. Then download the source code of the project from GitHub. There you have the sources and all the detailed instructions to build everything. This is what we have based on, although it is in English. Once you have the sources in a folder, you will have to install several libraries in the Arduino IDE. The first one, the Adafruit GPX library, and the next one, Adafruit SSD library. And why the first one was library and the second one is library? Hmm, because my English is progressing by the minute. Additionally, you will have to go to the folder where the Arduino core sources are and override the files in the hardware serial 9-bit folder that you have downloaded. With this, we are ready to compile the program. Each remote control comes with different codes for each button so that your remote control does not interfere with the neighbor's remote control. The first thing to do is to write down the codes that correspond to your remote control. To do this, we are going to load a first program that comes, which is called 433 Programming New on our Arduino board. It is simple. We connect the board with the USB cable. We look in the Windows Device Manager in which port it is. And we configure it in our Arduino IDE in the corresponding port and as Arduino Leonardo type board. The compile button will tell us that everything is OK and upload the program on the board, it will load it. Immediately it starts to work. And if we open the serial monitor on the same port at Nike speed. Every time we press a button on our controller, it will display the assigned number that we have to write down that corresponds to the unique code of that button. We write down all these numbers. 1 is 10,028. 2 is 10,000 something. That's it. All the numbers. Finally, it only remains to open the final program Arduino Pilot Micro 4 3 Winth NG Inno, put a 1 in the standby support line and fill in the numbers of the corresponding buttons in the definition of each key. Well, I'll probably post the code already made by me as well. We compile the programs and that's it. We already have our remote control working. Don't worry, if I have forgotten any step, Carlos will put a little sign or you can follow the instructions in our web. But in any case, in the ones we sell in our store, all this will be already done and you will only have to worry about plugging the connector of each color in the corresponding PIR of the SIPTOC port of your pilot. It's that easy. So let's get it running. We plug it in and that's it. Button 1 would be the equivalent of the pilot's minus 1, 2 to plus 1, 3 to minus 10, 4 to plus 10, 5 to standby and 6 to auto. I'm even going to set up some key combinations for things like tacking or putting it in win mode. Since I'm going to customize the software and give you updates, all of this is going to be doable. The first thing I did was to make sure it worked well on various models of Raymarine pilots. I like it best for tiller pilots, which is nice to be able to operate from the remote when you are busy with other things. And it works like a charm from any corner of the hull. You can now control the boat comfortably from anywhere and in any situation. For example, control the boat from the inside while cooking, while washing up, doing calculations on the charts, using the toilet or the toilet, sunbathing on the bow, while watching the bottom for obstacles, or preparing material and recording for the low-cost sailor episodes, raising the sails, lowering the sails, or best of all, while you are super busy fishing a giant tuna. I'm worried how we're going to get footage of that. That? Don't worry, don't worry. Oh yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to need you to bring the killer whale again. We're going to dress it up as a tuna. <laughs> Marvelous! But while I was doing it, I had so many ideas in my head that this invention is going to be crazy in this and future episodes. 
And I already tell you that the first thing is that you can operate the remote control when you are on the boat, but with some accessory like the universal Wi-Fi remote control sold by Sunoff. And similar, you can control any remote control and the wired one from your cell phone and therefore this one or the windlass of our first episode. And that can be done from anywhere in the world with internet connection. You will see the possibilities that will give us. But there is still more. I have tuned the software with a version of mine, adding new commands and the possibility of connecting the box we have built to the computer or the Raspberry and thus with our already known Node-RED make a custom panel as we did with the switches of the boat or the data of the probe and to control the autopilot also from the tablet. I will be publishing and informing of updates of the framework to give new features, do not worry. But if we already have the control of the boat in the node red with the possibilities of automating it and with other things that we saw in our previous episodes, when the lights came on when I arrived at night to the boat and recognized me, well this and I leave it for future episodes. Do you remember the man overboard device we made that stopped the engine when I fell off the boat to give me a chance to survive? Well imagine how sophisticated we are going to make it in the second version. It will come. It's just that we have more possibilities now. No spoilers, please. No spoilers. I'll leave it there, huh? That's it. It's great. You like it, don't you? Doesn't I love it. I was really looking forward to it. Look how cute, how tiny, how easy to carry hanging it from a neck strap. It's wonderful to be able to operate the autopilot from anywhere. And it's wonderful not to spend $500 to do it, especially that. I was really looking forward to it. I think there will be a lot of people who are looking forward to it. I tell you it's not the easiest one to build because you have to weld. There are not many pieces but you have to solder a few pins. It took me a little while to install the right versions of the Arduino kit and all that, right? And that's when I got the inspiration. Well, actually, when I started making the boards and I saw that it cost me about the same to make one as it did to make 10, to say, hey, look, a lot of times you've asked us and you've asked us if any of the things, could you send it to me already made? Well, our first experiment, our first opportunity, we are not Ray Marine, we do it openly. That is, if you want to do it yourself, here you have all the information to build it yourself openly. If you want to buy it from us, then you buy it from us and that's it and you make us happy. If you want to do it yourself and you don't want to buy anything from us and you want to donate to the channel, the donate button appears somewhere on our website and YouTube channel. Well, we will surely spend it on making other inventions because we don't know how to do anything else with the money, but burn it in new inventions and new things for the boat. To invest, invest, invest. We invest. And I wish we could invest in buying time to make more videos and to do all the crazy ideas that I've come up with a lot of things with this thing and with the little box that we've built that's going to be really crazy. I mean, I already have some ideas. Don't miss it because we will continue making these inventions and someday we may even be able to live from these. Buy the controls, donate, watch the videos, share them. And above all, if you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel. You have the little bell to receive notifications notifications every time we publish a new video and if YouTube wants it we'll let you know all the links and all the purchase links that you know how they help us even the link to our online store you have it in the description of the video and on our website www.thelocosailor.com see you in a couple of weeks in a new episode of the low cost sailor let's see press on the, the remote again let click me see. there you go now the other way click I mean if now I say all to port very cool. Go off the starboard. <laughs>